This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com with big sales on now and PowerPerformanceProducts.com where you can receive $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects, the best pre-workout supplements on the market. I've been getting to train with some elite level athletes uh, who's just bringing my game on enormously, you know. Were you surprised that he was he had his hands down as much as he did? Did he not respect your stand up? No, it's it was it was not, not that at all. Uh, it's his style. He likes to draw fighters in and then stick and move. Uh, he had a real good game plan for me, and he went away and just specific, specifically done things for me not to do what I wanted to do. Uh, and he done well at that, you know. It took us a round to get into the fight. Uh, it took us a round to find me range, figure me timing out, and then once I started letting go, it started flowing, you know. How'd you Rats. feel better with it? Yeah, good. I feel healthy. I feel strong, fit. Uh, I feel this is my new home now. Um, I feel one of the bigger, stronger fighters at this weight division. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It took us a round to get into the fight. Uh, it's had nothing to do with the weight cut. Although the weight cut is hard to make the weight. Uh, it's hard to maintain the weight. It's, but that's just the part of the sport. It's a tough sport, and you have to do what you have to do to make the weight. Uh, I rehydrated fine, but. It took us around to get there, it took us around to get into it, and it took us to find that spark, you know. Sometimes, like, in the, the last fight, Ed, Ed's and Barboza fight, the spark was there instantly, and it was just bump, go, 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 go. Where this fight, it seemed to take a little bit longer, just a bump, and then, then it started moving. But that's something for me to work on in camp. Can you elaborate on your team down at Alliance? We know it's Brandon Bears, James, Bill Davis is there, Dominic Cruz, Alexander Gustafson, a lot of guys. So specifically, who were you working with the most before this fight? Uh, for this fight, you know, I was working a lot with Dominic. Uh, he's out with a hand injury right now, so he's been there corners the whole time. Uh, I've been sparring with guys like KJ Noons, Shannon Guggerty, Aaron Beach, uh, Eric Uresk, uh, a lot of up-and-coming guys, as well as the guys who's at the gym as well, like Phil Davis, Alex Gustafsson, everyone there. Ed Flores uh, mentioned earlier, maybe he'd like to see Diego Nunes fight you next. What do you say to that? Uh, you know, I've said that any time I'll fight anyone who wants to come, but you know, I'm sick of fighting these Brazilian guys. Why <laughs> Why do the Brazilian guys want to fight me? You know, uh, you know I'm looking at, at big names, big opponents, big shots. You know, I want to be up there with the top, and uh, Korean Zombie's coming off a great win. Uh, he stylistically matches up really well for me. Uh, I've got a lot of respect for him. He comes and brings it, and I think we would make the fans happy in a great fight. All right, awesome. Was there any point in the fight where he was hurting you at all or that you felt like you were in any kind of fight? Never, not once. Uh, I was never in danger, never hurt once. Uh, I think the, the when I when I was in the, up against the fence and my nose was running, I was like, what happened there? But I think it was a clash of heads or something. Uh, Never heard anything. One when, when he sort of had one hook in on my back and up against the fence, I just stopped, had a had a breath, listened to my corner coaches, and just stuck to the game plan. You, we we figured we would get end up in that position, and we were drilling it all the time. And I was just working my way out. I felt that me scrambling and me anti wrestling was really good tonight. I uh, I won every scramble in the wrestling position. Uh, yes, he took us down, but I managed to work my way back up every time. Well, well, we are in Vegas. I don't know if you're a gambler, and it's you know the night before New Year's Eve. What are your plans to celebrate? Uh, you know, I'm going to enjoy myself tonight. It's been a long time since I've been out and enjoyed myself, so there's going to be some fun times. You know, it's been a long time since I've seen my family. Uh, I haven't had Christmas with my family. I've been in San Diego alone with uh, my girlfriend, so none of us has had family here. So they're, they're here, and we're going to have some fun tonight. You know, it's time to spend some time with the family. Off, to, off topic a little bit, um, British MMA has come a long way in, in probably the last 12 months. Who do you see up and coming out of, out of Britain? that you uh, you want to highlight her? Uh, there's a lot of good fighters, you know. Uh, Terry Adams got a big fight coming up. Uh, I'm really excited to see how Terry gets on and I wish him all the best. He's a good friend. Uh, and I wish him all the best. I hope to see him do well. Uh, there's a lot of good guys, you know. Uh, Brad Pickett's a good guy. Jason Young is a really talented guy. Uh, he hasn't had the breaks yet, uh, but I think he's still early in his career. Jason's got a a real good potential of being uh, a good fighter, and he just needs that break. Are you Jermaine Facey, how's it going? Jermaine Facey? Jermaine, yeah, don't worry about it. No. Are you encouraging any of those guys to come over to the States and do what you're doing with your success? Absolutely, you know, uh, I think Jason already comes over to ATT. Uh, uh, Terry, I think Terry stays at home, but he brings guys in. Uh, for me personally, I've always been the type of guy that's went out there and looked for training partners, but. Now that I've found my home at Alliance, uh, they bring guys in, you know, there's fresh guys in every every week. Uh, there's new guys coming from all over the world and I, I couldn't ask for more than out at the gym.
Godspeed and party on.